Hi, I'm Mark from LM Small Engine. Today we'll be working on a John Deere Zero Turn, a Z465. They were using it and they ran out of gas, so maybe some debris or something got in the carburetor because it seemed like it's only running on a one cylinder right now. So we got to take a lot of stuff like the shroud and everything off. And we got to take this side cover off so we can take the top of the shroud off the engine and get to the carburetor. So hope you enjoy the video. This John Deere has a Kawasaki V-twin engine in it. And we got to get to the carburetor right under here where the air filter is. So we're going to pop this cover off where it has the key switch and throttle and everything. And we're going to take the top tin off this back shroud and pop this top off so we can get to the carburetor. Okay, now we're going to take the shroud off this Kawasaki twin cylinder here. You can see a lot of dirt was getting inside that, behind the filter there. You know these bolts down here should be 10 millimeter. I thought for sure I'd take the shroud off, but this one's built so you don't have to, so that's good. Should be a vent hose over here. We're gonna have to disconnect the breather hose from the current case till the There we go. I'm going to blow some of that dirt off. And I think we have to take this take this plate here off. I don't think this carburetor is going to slide off, so and that protects the it's like a heat shield from the exhaust coming up, it looks like.
There we go. Unplug the fuel shut off solenoid. I don't know. Unhook the fuel line. I'm going to kind of clean that carburetor off a little bit. So no dirt gets in the intake there. Kind of loosen up a little bit with that. And get some air on there. Yeah, clamps kind of move that up a little bit here. There we go. And I rock it back and forth to break it loose so it's easier to pull off. And on this side over here, we have that little clip for the linkage. There should be a little, little spring there, too, on the side. I want to choke. And there's the governor one here. This one has that spring on it. There. And there we go. Now let's go take it over there and take it apart. And we're probably going to boil it out. Like I said before, they ran this out of gas, and they put gas in it. It's been spitting and sputtering. It sounds like it's running one cylinder half the time. And I'm I'm just gonna probably suck the gas out of the tank when we get this carburetor done. Suck the gas out of the tank and check the inside of the fuel lines. The inside of the fuel lines might be falling apart too. It looks like it's original fuel lines but we'll get the carburetor done first okay the gaskets stayed on the carburetor and they're stuck pretty good if they stay on there I'm just I'm just gonna leave them on I'm not gonna try taking them off because they're not tore or nothing so we want to take this top cover off there's some airports under here. There's little airports in there and there. Um, get them all cleaned out when we boil it out.
And we'll take the bowl off. Well, what's in there tight? I'm going to try breaking it loose with this. I don't want to. I don't want to strip it out or anything. Boy, that thing was on there tight. Holy cow. It don't need to be that tight. And under the soaring right here, that's the two main jets. And from what I can see, they look. They look clear. There's a jet for both. So this one here, that one there is a little bit plugged up. That one right there. So we'll get a little piece of wire in there and clean that up. Well, I think I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in the boiler. I don't I don't see no dirt or nothing in there, but ever since they said they ran out of gas, it just hasn't been running right, so makes me wonder if there's something forward in the gas so i think we're just gonna clean the gas tank all the way out probably put new lines on too just be on the safe side take this little gas get off here That's all in good shape. There's a little o ring in there. So now we can go ahead and pop that in the ultrasonic boiler. Like I said before, if you don't have one of them, that carburetor dipping solution will work just good too, or an ordinary can of carburetor cleaner. But we'll boil it out and put it back together and just start from scratch from the gas tank all the way to the carburetor. I'm going to let that boil about 20 minutes. Okay, we just got out of the cleaner solution. And you like take a wire. I like using like the ends of a flywheel brake cable on a push mower. And just unravel them. And they're just nice little things to clean out holes. There's two holes on this side clean. And there's 
tools over here and your two pilot jets right here in the center. Make sure they're all clean. Make sure all these holes in here are all nice and clean. And then your two main jets, make sure they're both nice and clean. So now it's all ready to get put back together. Put that bowl gasket in there. This little o-ring slips right in here. And this one goes in here that seals that bottom on the bowl, plus it won't let the jets fall out. Now we put this gasket back in here. And if these were smashed or some out of place, but these are in really good shape. Goes in there like that. Go ahead and pop that on there. And you have to hold pressure down until you get the screws in there. You don't want none of the gasket stuff. Fall out of place. Okay. Now we can put that top plate on. Snug them down. And double check them. There. Now it's all ready to go back on the lawnmower now. Okay, now we're going to reinstall the carburetor back on the engine we'll look up the governor linkwit linkage here
need small hands for this. Okay, now we gotta hook that spring up. You know. Hook up the choke linkage here. Okay, and while the carburetor is clear, I put all brand new fuel lines on the fuel filter. I used my vacuum pump and I vacuumed all the gas out of the tank so we can put brand new gas in here. And there was some water in the bottom of the gas tank. Okay. I went and cleaned all that dirt out of there. Let me hook up that vent tube on the side. Okay, now we can put our two bolts and two nuts in there. And look up that fuel shut off solenoid. All right, I'm going to go ahead and tighten it up. <coughs> oh, and I put <coughs> new plugs in there too. You can tell it wasn't burning right, it's like really sticky. And they really carbonate it up. So I'll go ahead and tighten these up. Okay, now we can put this heat shield plate on there.
Okay, now we can put the filter and cover back on it. I blew out the paper filter and I put a brand new pre-filter on it. Okay. Okay, now we can put our side panel back on. You really don't have to take this piece off here when you do this, but it's a lot easier, I think. And it's only four bolts to hold it on. Okay, let's get everything all tightened up. There, all we gotta do now is put some brand new gas in there and start it up. Okay, we got the carburetor all back together again. We cleaned out the tank, put new fuel lines on it, new spark plug. Should run like a top again, I hope. It seems to run really good like a twin cylinder Kawasaki should do. So, anyways, I appreciate, appreciate you watching the video, and you have a good afternoon. Bye.